can't trust anybody. anybody. Keep a rifle by my heart, like why you care about it? I've been trying to play my part, man. I've been so solid, and they got no knowledge. But I don't care about all these bands. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Sam. I'm back with another one. What up, foreign gang? You feel me? Back with another one. They say, cop caught playing weed in driver's car, and this happens. I had to click on it. Five minute video, there ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want to hold y'all too long. Still on the same box of Mikey and Ice. Yeah. What? Let's see what they talking about. Yo, you were just playing something in my car? In the heart of the bustling metropolis of New York City, a seemingly routine traffic stop unfolds into a gripping tale that unveils the dark underbelly of law enforcement. All right, this was in the back seat on the floor. So I might want to see that. It all begins on an ordinary day in Staten Island when officers Elmer Pastran and Kyle Erickson spot a BMW with tinted windows and a driver who neglects to signal. And Kyle Erickson. Well, I thought that was goddamn Adam Sandler. And you, I don't know. Em, his name ain't Elmer. And Elmer and Kyle. Spot a BMW with tinted windows and a driver who neglects to signal. Little do they know that this innocuous encounter will expose the length some officers are willing to go to make an arrest. Approaching the vehicle, the officers quickly realize they are dealing with four young black men. Backup is called as suspicion grows, and Officer Pastran recognizes some of the passengers, claiming they are associated with a notorious local gang. I don't appreciate being lied to. I know this weed in the car. I smell it. And the controversial issue of marijuana possession. Moreover, the driver, Lasu Kuyate, has a previous assault conviction. Wait, why are you searching me? Like, why are you touching me? No, I don't have nothing on me. Further fueling their suspicions, the stage is set for what will become a gripping narrative of power, corruption, and the struggle for justice. Officer Erickson, seemingly driven by his own motivations, decides to search the car and its occupants. Pastran's body camera remains on capturing the unfolding drama while Erickson's camera mysteriously malfunctions ceasing to record Erickson begins his search focusing on the passenger side and casting an intrigued gaze towards the rear floor area of the vehicle Backseat looks pretty clear. Here, the plot takes an unexpected turn. Somebody Erickson, aware that his camera is not recording, discreetly maneuvers through the car's interior while Pastran's camera unknowingly captures his actions. It appears that Erickson tampered with something in the back seat, but the true nature of his actions remains a mystery. Meanwhile, the officers engage in conversation, seemingly unaware of the brewing storm of controversy. Unbeknownst to Erickson, the car owner records his actions using a cell phone, capturing the officer holding small plastic bags whose contents and purpose are shrouded in uncertainty. Yo, you were just playing something in my car? Bro, step back. Excuse me. Step Wait, back. hold on. What would y'all do in this, in this case? Boy, this nigga ain't here dropping. He ain't here dropping drugs in the car, bro. In front of them. He told me, stop it. Stop it. What? Nah, that's crazy. It's 2018. And he was the only one who body cam went off. That's two sus. Nah. Back. Yo, he punched something in my car, yo. He punched something <laughs> in my car. I, I'm not, I'm not getting locked up. <laughs> the driver, handcuffed and left powerless, manages to discreetly document the unfolding drama. The truth hangs in the balance as the officer's actions are caught on camera, inadvertently revealing the deceit that may lie at the heart of this encounter. I love to get Cody. I'll just get my, my, my chills, dude. Nah, we, we didn't find it, but he's bugging out, so I guess now it's going to be OGA. He's not letting us do our job, you know? Pastran, dedicated to his duty, continues his search, meticulously examining the rear floor area. Yet, despite their thorough <clears throat> scrutiny, the officers find no evidence of wrongdoing. In a moment of frustration, Erickson re-enters the back of the car, unaware that his camera has been reactivated. Yeah. Not knowing that his body camera is on, he is clearly seen carefully planting marijuana in the back seat to make it look real. His actions, hidden from his partner, are captured once again, casting further doubt on the integrity of the encounter. All right, this was in the back seat on the floor. So, man, I want a cigarette. What? 
just had to put it out. Yo. I found this again. He said it's a marijuana cigarette. It's lit. I just tried to put it out. So you... No smoke coming out the car. Y'all searched the car. Y'all been on the scene for about four, three minutes, right? The little timestamps at the top tell you. He said it's lit. I just tried to put it out. I couldn't be in New York. Just, just that accent right there. The accent alone pissed me off from, from the cops. Like, I don't know. They just sound like... They just sound... What's the word? No. Prejudice. You feel me? Listen. Just had to put it out. So I don't want a cigarette. What? Just had to put it out. Just tried to put it out. Yeah. It was lit when I found it on the floor. Yeah. That's why you're trying to take them off. Huh? I'm gonna take them off. Um, we only have it on hold. Yeah. Yeah. So he, he's on that. Yeah, but uh, anything, uh, uh, narcotics in the car or anything? Or gone? No, not weed. Sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Listen, we found it. Okay. Okay. Yep. Good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The footage then tried. Listen, we found it. I feel like the other cop know it wasn't in the car. He said narcotics in the car. Burning. All of them go. No, no not weed. Sure. He said, no, not weed. He said, you sure? Yeah. He said, yes. Like he searched the car. He know it was nothing in it. All right, listen, we found it. Okay. Alright, we found it, okay? okay. Good. Good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Said good. Mm -hmm. On his phone, this takes him like he don't give a fuck. Like, go ahead. That's crazy. The footage then transports us to the police station, where the handcuffed driver is taken for processing. Pastran engages in a conversation with him. Yo, so y'all just put me in my car, son. Bro, we did not do that. Why would we do He has a camera, I have a camera. My car. He has a camera, I have a camera. Why would we do that? Like I said, the minute we stopped you, everything's being recorded. That's crazy. So for him to do that, that'd be the dumbest thing ever. Imagine he loses his job over a dumb you arrest like this. You just know. And it becomes clear that the officer had not discovered any contraband during the search. The However, Erickson, determined to justify his actions, allegedly finds a joint on the floor, claiming it was lit and in plain sight. This supposed evidence becomes the catalyst for the arrest of all the car's occupants. As the legal process unfolds, the driver finds himself behind bars, charged with marijuana possession. In the courtroom, Officer Erickson confidently testifies that he found the joint, justifying the arrest of the driver and his companions. But the conflicting footage captured by the body cameras takes center stage, casting doubt on the officer's claims. The judge, alarmed by the inconsistencies, interrupts Erickson's testimony, realizing the significance of this compelling evidence. Recognizing the severity of the situation, the police department is advised to provide Erickson with legal counsel. In a stunning turn of events, the case against the driver eventually crumbles, with the marijuana charges dismissed and sealed. The internal investigators of the NYPD, reviewing the video evidence, declare no misconduct by the officers. Officer Pastor. Do I even got to say something about Adam Sandler and Elmer right here? Do I? Elmer and Kyle? Still on the force. They probably still on the force. That's crazy. No misconduct. Elmer just looked like he'd do his name. What's his name? You just look like you trying to get a raise, nigga. On some weird... That's crazy. That's why. No misconduct. Strawn remains silent, evading any public comment, while Officer Erickson chooses not to provide a statement, leaving a lingering sense of uncertainty and unanswered questions about the conduct of law enforcement. In the wake of this captivating saga, the incident serves as a stark reminder of the deeply entrenched issues within the criminal justice system. If you love stories like this, subscribe and turn on notifications for more. Thanks for watching. Show you how they channel, man. Actually, nah. When there's nothing holding you back, 
What would your thing be? How you go with that lagging? All right, yeah. Big Apple type beat. Man, play the beat real quick. But yeah, I appreciate y'all for watching the video. I mean, if you made it this far, I mean, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I'll be perform with sorry, the all new Pro V1 and Pro V1X. Nah. Uh, mm, 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 mm. You can't trust anybody. Keep a rifle by my heart, like why you care about it? I've been trying to play my part, man. I've been so solid, and they got no knowledge, but I don't care about it. all these bands.